Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If this is the first time you've been here before. My name is Jordan Miller and I review boxing gear. Today, I'm gonna to be doing a full review of the Fly Super Lace 16 ounce boxing glove in their genuine leather in the monogram colorway. So let's get into it. All right, so today we're gonna to be doing a full review of the Fly Super Lace boxing gloves, 16 ounce genuine leather in the monogram colorway. Um, I've had these gloves for almost a year now, um, and I'm you know, definitely ready to share my, my overall impressions uh, of the gloves. Um, if you haven't seen my f unboxing and first impressions video, um, I'll link that so that you can check that out, see what the gloves look like when I first got them, what I thought when I first, when I first tried them on. Um, but I've had them definitely for, for a while now, so ready to give the full review. Uh, so we'll start out, I'll do a quick walk around the gloves. You can see how they've held up, the leather, the stitching, the liner, kind of get an idea for the quality um, of these gloves. After that, we'll try them on, talk about the fit and feel, how that's changed a little bit um, with, with extended use. Um, then we'll wrap it up with performance of the glove, um, and then price point, kind of wrapping it all together and, and suggesting who, you know, who might like these gloves uh, and who might not like them. All right, so we'll, we'll jump into that walk around now. All right, so walk around the glove. First thing we'll do, we'll check out the leather, see how it's held up. Summary, it is held up very well. So two types of leather here. Um, up on the back of the, of the hand, punching surface and fingertip area, as well as the inside of the thumb, you have this straight black, goat skin leather. You can see the grain there, um, but this is a very thick, um, uh, high, super high quality leather, um, goat skin leather, which is really unique. I don't own another pair of gloves that uses this goat skin, um, and it is, it is held up really well. It's thick without being stiff. Um, if you see my unboxing, from the get-go, these, these were pretty broken in, um, and they've broken in more uh, with, with use. So that leather um, has held up well. The, the other type of leather is this, this monogrammed leather. So this is also goat skin, um, but you can tell here, you know, even in this lighting, you can see a little bit of grain, but this grain is just so much more prominent, and you can feel, uh, feel that as well. It almost feels, you know, like it has this like beaded texture to it, um, but it's softer um, and a little more supple than, than this leather. Uh, so that's the same across the back of the thumb and then across the whole palm area. This really soft, um, pretty supple coat skin leather and it has held up really well. No, no flaking on this, again, I don't know if this is dyed or printed, but the fly plus the Icarus logo, no issues there. Um, so the leather, I think, is the standout feature of these gloves, um, and you can see how well it's held up uh, over about a year, um, show, shows why. So love the leather, probably my favorite thing about these gloves. Stitching. Stitching was great uh, when I got them, and stitching has also held up well. Double stitching here, their kind of signature X stitch, double stitched across the back. It's black on black, so a little hard to see, but no loose threads or anything there. Um, on the palm side, the larger stitching around the grip bar and up around the palm area has held up well, but the fine stitching you know, is doing well too. Really tight seams across the back of the thumb, the fingertip area, super nice through here, no issues. Um, and, and it's all held up very well. And on this side too, they have this interesting kind of like little bit of a bend in the thumb there uh, in both of these gloves as well as the Fly X Super Lace gloves. Um, so, you know, that's not easy to keep tight like that and they've done a really good job. Um, so, stitching, great. Liner, maybe my second favorite thing about, eh, not my second, like the fit and feel is really great, but as far as like materials, the, the liner is, is, is a close second to the leather. So same as if you have the Fly X or, or the Super Loop, you know, whether it's the genuine leather or Fly X, this very silky, um, high-end feeling liner, it's there, it's held up well. 
um, and it just makes the glove so comfortable. It goes all along the back into the fingertip compart compartment. Um, very comfortable, uh, really high end. And it feels that way, super comfortable. My, my favorite type of liner um, uh, used by, for any gloves is this type. So Fly does this and 1v1 does this really well. So love the liner. So that's the walk around. These gloves have held up very well. Um, so, so I'm really pleased with that. All right, so now we'll get into uh, the fit and feel of the gloves. All right, so that's the walk around of the gloves. The leather has, the, the gloves have held up extremely well. The quality of the leather is the standout for me. It's very different being goat skin. It, this colorway is also really different with the kind of the, the texture and quality of the leather of the monogrammed piece um, being very unique. Um, but the, the solid black leather across the rest of the glove, um, very high quality as well. So that's kind of the standout piece for me. But overall, the gloves have held up super well. Very pleased with that. Um, so most important for me is that fit and feel. So we'll get, we'll go ahead and try these on again, no wraps right now, but I've used these a lot. So the, the comments I'm making, you know, uh, are similar, are the same as if I were wearing wraps. Okay. So overall, these gloves are, these are a compact glove. They are both in the side in, in the overall profile. So the side of my hand comes to about here. So with wraps a little bit more. Um, so, you know, side to side, narrow, uh, profile and as well as how just compact and kind of tight the glove is the, the leather here really grips and curves into your hand, uh, on the inside, making this a very compact feel. I really like compact, you know, uh, comfortable ergonomic hand compartments. So I really like that, but if you like a little more room, that may not be your favorite thing. Um, so very, very compact feel. Fingertip compartment. Um, I said this in the unboxing, but it, it has remained true that the fingertip compartment of these gloves is, it feels different than the fingertip compartment of the Fly X gloves. I'll do a full comparison of the two gloves side by side, but if you own the X gloves, uh, like I owned those first before the genuine leather, that was a different thing. That said, it's still very comfortable. Um, there's plenty of room side to side, as well as back of the fingers to the fingertips. Uh, it's, it's very comfortable. So enough, enough room there for me to, to get my fingers down enough to turn over um, and make a good fist. Um, so, so that is held up well. The, the ergonomics of the glove uh, are nice. Um, they, they, the, the hand compartment holds my hand in a nice, in a nice fist position, uh, natural feeling. Uh, so that's really nice. Uh, punching surface. These knuckles line up right about here. Top knuckles right up here. So they line up and that's why I feel like it's an ergonomic hand compartment. They line up where they should in a pretty slightly rounded, but pretty, pretty flat punching surface here, a little bit of roundness to it, but not very round, like a winning or one V one PTE gloves. So I, I really like that a more of a flat punching surface. Um, pretty good feedback. Um, not the most feedback, but they, these are not designed to, to be that way. Um, so good punching surface. You you feel it, the padding lining up well over the, the knuckles there. Uh, that's really nice. Thumb. Uh, thumb is comfortable. Uh, I think the thumb on these is more comfortable than the one on the Fly X. And I think for me, that's mostly because this leather is a little soft, is softer. Um, and so I think it's just adjusted a little bit more. It's a little more malleable than, than the thumb on the Fly X. Fly X is not uncomfortable. It just took me a little bit of getting used to. Um, where the thumb is attached here is good. Doesn't pinch. Uh, no issues there. Um, and a good amount of padding across the back. It's well protected. Wrist area is really nice. This, this monogram leather is, is quite soft. It was, it was pretty broken in when I got them. Um, but it, it allows with the laces and the lace and loop attachment that I use on all my lace up gloves, you can get a really nice secure fit. 
cuff is not very long. You know, if you have like a pair of clettos, clettos probably come down to about here on me, but my PTEs might stop maybe about here or so. So for me, this, this, is, a, this is a good length, um, kind of right in the middle. Uh, so good wrist protection. Padding of the glove. Um, if you have the Fly X, um, in my opinion, I have the first generation Fly X. I, I don't own the second generation and they might be on their third now, but I, I've seen comments and discussion about maybe Fly switched up the padding of the Fly X, but now they're back to what they used to. So what I'm comparing it to is the, the first generation. The padding is, it, it feels different. This is softer, um, a little more, a little more pillowy. So, uh, so, so that's just something that's different. Again, if you have the Fly X, the Fly X I feel like is a little more firm shock absorbing type of, type of padding. Knuckles give in a little bit, but still really protective and, and crack on the bag a little, a little more than these, but still, so, so these are, these are still uh, very protective padding, but it's just a little bit more pillowy in my opinion. Um, so overall, very comfortable boxing glove, very compact, both side to side, as well as the hand compartment um, with this leather gripping up on the palm. Uh, nice ergonomic co compartment, uh, padding lines up over the knuckles where it should. Thumb is, uh, is in a comfortable spot and in a comfortable shape where it attaches to the body of the glove. And I mean, overall looks, I think these are one of the best pair uh, of gloves, at least one of my favorite pair of gloves I own when it comes to the to looks. So that's the overall fit and feel. Now we'll talk about performance. Um, these I think are an excellent all around training glove. Uh, you can use these on the bag. I have, you can use them on the focus mitts, double in bag, um, or sparring. Um, I, I did, I had one person comment to me that they had it. Maybe, I don't know if it was a specific gym or a specific partner that didn't like it when they wore the fly gloves. They thought they were maybe too small or too light. So these are 16 ounce. Both of them came in with the laces, not the lace and loop attachment to the laces at 15.8, which is, it's a tiny bit light, but it's within kind of the normal range of what you would expect. Um, and so they, that's something to take into, into consideration. These are kind of a more compact glove. That said, I, I think they're perfectly fine to spar with, but one person did mention to me that, um, that their partner or the gym they were at preferred if they had these gloves that they use an 18 ounce instead of a 16 ounce. But these come in just a hair under 15, under 16 ounces, um, and I'm personally fine with sparring with them or if my partner had them. Um, so I think they're a really good all around training glove you can do everything with them and, uh, and they're, they're comfortable in each of those situations. I, I would like them for sparring more than the bag, um, just because, you know, with this kind of softer padding, you don't get a lot of crack and pop on the bag. Um, I do have some YouTube shorts, uh, with me training with these gloves, as well as some, some video on Instagram and TikTok. plug their name is Jordan Miller on YouTube on both those platforms. And you can kind of hear the sound of what it sounds like with these gloves versus like my 1v1 Peacemaker gloves or my Salvador HF gloves, both of those having horse, horse hair foam or so just a lot of crack on the bag, a lot of feedback. So you can kind of hear the difference. It's totally fine to use them on the bag, but um, I, I think they're a better sparring glove. Um, so that's, that, that's performance. Um, and then I guess a part of performance, they've held up extremely well. So, you know, they've performed well over about a year. Um, so that's really good. Uh, I'm really pleased with that as well. Price point. So these, if you're in the States, I would purchase these from Box Up Nation. He's the only uh, reseller in the US um, for fly. So you don't pay that international shipping, you don't have to wait as long of a time, and you don't get the customs fees and stuff like that. Uh, so these were $435. Um, I got these for Christmas last year. And for, so this puts them up there with like, you know, 435 is about the price of a pair of winning gloves, um, stock color, not a custom colorway. Um, it's, or 1v1, so it, it's up there. Uh, based on the quality of materials used and how comfortable and how well it's lasted, 
they deserve to be up in there with 1v1 and winning and, and gloves of that price range. They've held up really well for a year. Um, and so, so I think they deserve that price point. Now, if you're like me, I, I hadn't before, I had never tried a pair of fly gloves on before I purchased them. The first pair I tried on was the pair I bought. So I started with the fly X. Um, again, I'll do a comparison side by side, but personally I would, if you haven't tried them on or you're a little iffy on it, go for the fly X. They're 210 about, um, so half the cost, uh, of these gloves and very similar. It's not an identical clone, but very similar. Um, so, so that's the price point, and, and I do think they warrant that price based on the quality of the materials, particularly the leather. Who are these for? Um, if you are looking for an all-around training glove that um, is going to last you a long time, this is an excellent choice. Uh, I've had these for, again, almost a year, and they're holding up really well. I anticipate they're going to continue to last really well, so it's a solid investment. Um, if you want a, a higher end, really nice pair of boxing gloves and you want to wear something, you know, a little different than maybe what you're seeing people wear at the gym, probably, you know, in this price range winning, this is a great one to, to experiment with. I'll compare these to winning as well, but while the price range is similar to winning and the quality of materials is, is up there they're extremely different gloves i don't this is not a winning clone in really any way at all there's nothing similar to them in in my opinion but if so if you want to try something different that is in that same range as far as kind of prestige and uh, quality give them a try um and if you aren't sure on the price again start with the the fly x so yeah that's if you're looking for a good all-around training glove that's going to last you a long time with that's very that's compact um, this is, this is the pair of gloves that, that, that you should probably try out. All right. So that's my overall impression uh, of these gloves. Again, I got these from box up nation. Um, if you use the code Jordan Miller 10, I'll put that down below. You'll save $10, uh, on, on a purchase there, whether you're getting these gloves or anything else from him, um, you can use that code. So be sure to plug that in, save yourself some money. Um, uh, if you liked the video, hit the thumbs up button. If you didn't like it, hit the thumbs down button two times. Really let me know you didn't like it. Uh, comment down below um, what you think about the gloves, what you thought about the video, any questions you might have, what you would like to see these gloves compared to in a comparison video. I'm getting to that point where I'm getting ready to, I want to do all my comparison videos. So I already plan to compare these against my winning MS500 as well as my Fly X gloves. But if you want to see them compared to other ones, 1v1, Salva excuse me, Salvador, others, let me know. Uh, we can get those going. Um, please hit that subscribe button. We are, I'm just a hair under 900 subscribers with the goal to hit 1,000 by the end of the year. And I will uh, do a giveaway, a significant giveaway once I hit that 1,000. I'm, I'm getting ready to, once I hit that 900 subscribers, I'll do a video explaining what the giveaway is. Um, but one of the rules is going to be that you need to be one of the first 1,000 subscribers to be eligible to win the giveaway, and it's going to be a it's going to be a good one. So, and you can go in the past and see other giveaways I've done at other time points um, with my channel. So, be sure to hit the subscribe button to be one of those first 1,000. Hit the notification bell so you're notified of all my upcoming videos, including the one talking about what the giveaway is going to be. Uh, follow me on Instagram, TikTok. That's Jordan Miller on YouTube for both of those. Um, I interact with subscribers there, talk about boxing gear, talk about boxing. Um, it's just both other places where, where, you know, we can talk about the stuff that we like. Um, so yeah, that was my full review of these gloves. Uh, let me know what you think down below and I'll see you guys next time.